everyone, I'm Tiffany, and welcome to my another huge art haul. We have a lot to uncover today, so let's get started. First off is the Paul Rubens watercolors, uh, the Xi'an. This comes in a large round box. And it has a beautiful art cover with a um, silver embossing, all in Chinese. The box is very sturdy. And there are six 15 milliliter tubes of paint. The colors are gray, purple, green, pink, gold, and blue. These colors are special in that they are mixed with black. Can't wait to paint with these. Next up is the Arteza 20 Sheets Do-It-Yourself Framed Mixed Media Pad. These are black paper for wet and dry media. They are 13 and a half by 15 inches unfolded, 246 pounds. And they do come with fold lines and when folded, you can make an eight by 11 inches frame. Next is the Daniel Smith Jean Haynes Master Artist Set. I got these for a steal for $40. There are 10 5 milliliter tubes, and the colors that are included are Green Appetite Genuine, Opera Pink, Quin Magenta, Imperial Purple, Nickel Azo Yellow, Aussie Red Gold, Moon Glow, my favorite color, Undersea Green. Lunar Blue, and one more, Cascade Green. The back of the box does include some information about Jean Haynes, the artist. I have an extra Daniel Smith tin palette that I've decided to use to put all of these mini watercolor tubes in. looks like it fits perfectly. Sometimes I like to paint directly from tubes, so I think this is going to work out great. Next up is the Arteza 24 Permanent Markers. These are the retro colors. They're supposed to be waterproof, smearproof, with an ultra fine tip. All the colors that are included are labeled in the back. They do look like just regular pens. And that's the fine tip. These are gonna be handy for sketching. Next is the Superior Foldable Watercolor Pot. Comes in a dark pink color. Looks like it's airtight. And there are 16 places for you to store your Wash your watercolor for plein air painting. And this can be popped out to be used as a water container. And you can also put your paint brushes on the side there. This is one nifty little container. And I'm excited to use it for my next plein air painting.
Now let's look at the silver brushes that I got. First one is a silver silk 88 in the medium size. This is a triangle brush. I don't think I have ever owned a triangle brush before. Let's cut it out and take a closer look. It is an actual triangle. That is so cool. Next is the one inch silver oval mop. It has a flat ferrule. Very, very soft bristles. And this one is the silver mop in a size 12. It has a round ferrule and the bristles are also very soft. Up next are the Daniel Smith watercolors in 15 milliliter tubes. I collect a lot of Daniel Smith watercolors. I shouldn't, but I still do. Can't help myself. The colors that I got are Quinn Sienna, Perlene Violet, Cobalt Blue, and Quinn Deep Gold. I really should stop. Up next are the Michael Solovier watercolor brushes. This one is the Solo Mini Calligraphy brush. Super soft. The next brush is called a Rat Liner brush. Yes, rat. You heard it. Kind of creepy, but interesting at the same time. This rat liner brush is used exactly for its name, to line, to use for fine details. And no, I am not going to test it on my hand. You could see for yourself. Yep, it can create fine lines. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, those are all the products that I got off of Amazon. Now, let's see what's in this box. This one is from Da Vinci Watercolors. Look at the pretty presentation. I ordered a few tubes of Da Vinci paints and they gave me a nice little bag with their name and logo on it. Very pretty packaging. The colors that I got are Joyce's Mother Green, Davy's Gray, and a smaller size of the Cobalt Turquoise. I love turquoise, and I have to get one in every brand. These three colors are Joyce's Mother Violet, Neutral Tint, and Aubergine. All right, let's put that away and see what I got from Jackson's. These were shipped all the way from the United Kingdom. Looks like I got, surprise, more watercolors. Let me just empty the contents on the table and we can go through them one by one. First up is the Holbein Artist Gouache. This is a primary color mixing set. Looks like they've included a little mixing instruction sheet for you here. Pretty nice. Shows you how to mix colors. The colors included are primary magenta, primary yellow, primary cayenne, primary black, and primary white. Let's see what's in this box. Ah, looks like we've got the Shinhan Pass. 
These are hybrid watercolor and gouache. I've got them in indigo, red violet, and alizarin crimson. I've also got a Holbein cobalt turquoise gouache. See, told you I got them in every brand. And these are the Rembrandt Chameleon watercolors. These were a little bit pricey, but I don't own anything Chameleon and was excited to try these. They come in 10 milliliter tubes and I have them in Chameleon Blue, Chameleon Red, Chameleon Gold, and Chameleon Violet. All right, let's put these away. And up next is the Schmunka Super Granulating Watercolors in the Haze set. These are five milliliter tubes. Colors are Haze Pink, Haze Blue, Haze Indigo, Haze Brown, and Haze Black. I really love granulating watercolors. Okay, up next is the Sennelier Lacquerel, the Emma Dibbon Collection. I got these for around 60 bucks. They come in 10 milliliter tubes of 12 colors, cadmium yellow lemon, French vermilion, alizarin crimson, opera rose, permanent magenta, phthalo blue, turquoise green, hooker's green, gold ochre, burnt umber, van dyke brown, and Payne's gray. Boy, that was a tongue twister. Does come in a nice metal tin and there is a leaflet of product information from Sennelier. Look at this metal box. Opens up to a rainbow of tubes. I don't own any Sennelier in tubes, so I'm excited to get these. All right, and now let's see what I got from Jerry's Artorama. I'm going to open the box down here and put the products on the table and we'll go through them one by one. Okay, first up is the Creative Mark Butcher's Tray. Seven and a half by 11 inches. I've always wanted a butcher's tray. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna use it for. It could be watercolors or acrylics. It's made of solid metal and it is enameled. So it's gonna last a long, long time. Next is the Williamsburg Handmade Oil Colors. This is the signature oil colors set comes in 11 milliliter tubes and they are handmade in the United States. The only oil I've ever used is Gamblin, so I'm excited to try out these. Tubes are a little bit small, but then again, they are only 11 milliliters, the size of watercolors. The colors that I got are Brilliant Yellow Pale, Alizarin Orange, Persian Rose, King's Blue, Corbett Green, Italian Lemon Ochre, Still de Grain, French Ardoise Gray, and a large size of the Titanium White, 37 milliliters to be exact. Next comes the Pastel Shaper. This is a tool that you can use to shave down your pastels to a finer point. As you can see, it comes with a, a little thingamajig that you can shave down your pastels and it keeps it nice in a little jar there. Comes with a brush that you can brush things away. 
You know how when you shop online, you have to add something in order to meet the minimum requirement for free shipping? Well, this is what I added. The Creative Mark Aqua Stroke Water Brush Pens. I don't need any more water brush pens, but they're always handy to have around. These don't look as nice as some of my other water brush pens, but hey, it allowed me to have free shipping. The brushes are very soft and they do come in a variety of different sizes. We'll just have to test these out to see if they're any good. I also got some storage bags. These are zippered ones and they're pretty big. They take up the whole screen. I'm not too sure what size they are though. Next comes Blix. Let's see what goodies I got from Blix. I'll deposit it on the table and we'll go through it one by one. First up is the Sennelier Gold Oil Stick. Then we have the RNF Blending Stick. This is used to blend oil directly on canvas. Then I have the Art Spectrum Color Fix Pastels. 20 half sticks. I really like the color selection in this one. I don't have anything from Art Spectrum, so I'm really excited to try these pastels. I believe they're made in Australia. Up next is the Holbein Artist Gouache. These are the traditional colors of Japan called Yuridori. I got them in light ochre, silver gray, peony, true green, hummingbird blue, and white. I also purchased a Holbein Artist Color Pencil in white. I heard this white colored pencil is the whitest of them all. So I'm excited to try this. Saving the best for last. These are handmade specialty items that I got from around the world off of Etsy. Let's see what's in this package. Looks like I got some tea and candy. and also a little binder clip. This is supposed to be the Maria Che Illustration Portable Wooden Palette. This came all the way from Moscow, Russia. The binder clip clips on the palette directly so that you can clip the palette onto your watercolor sketchbook. Pretty neat, huh? Next comes a package from, not sure who yet. We'll have to wait and see. Well, they wrapped this one really tight. Could it be more candy? No, it's definitely a watercolor swatch here. Those are probably watercolors too. I believe this one is from Zur Art Studio. And Zur Art Studio is from Bursa, Turkey. 
and this watercolor set is called gilding. Comes in a pretty wooden box. And you have more watercolors on the inside, wrapped individually like candies. And then this plastic purple container, I think, contains watercolors from Playful Pigments. And they're based out of Oklahoma. So I lied, those weren't the last items to share. I still have more. These are from Amazon. First up is the Low Cornell Watercolor Palette. This is a very sturdy plastic. And it's so inexpensive. Opens flat and has a thumb ring and there's room for 12 colors and plenty of space for mixing. And now for the Van Gogh watercolor painting box. These are 12 tubes of 10 milliliters. The colors included are Chinese white, permanent lemon yellow, azul yellow medium, permanent red light, matter lake deep, cobalt blue, ultramarine deep, permanent green, viridian, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, and Payne's gray. It also comes with a brush, a sponge, and plenty of room for mixing. And now for the final item, I promise this time. This is the Meaden Porcelain Watercolor Palette with 24 wells. I plan to use this not for my general watercolors, but more for inks and liquid watercolors. As you see, the wells are tiny. There's 24 of them and the lid you can use for mixing and also to close it. Isn't it adorable? See how perfectly it pairs up with liquid watercolors and inks. You can use a little Doppler and put a little bit in in the well and paint from there. And now for the fooling around part with some of the supplies. Music, please.
Okay, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, have a super duper tube-tastic day. Bye. Mm -hmm.